this session, uh, Madam Ritesh Vashisht. She is going to engage this session with you. Let me give you a very brief intro about her. Uh, she has an impressive portfolio backed by PGs in three disciplines. She has done her postgraduate in management, English, and journalism. Ritesh Vashist has more than a decade of experience in corporate training and strategic marketing with most prestigious brands like Hero Mind Mind, WWIC Group, ICS Group of uh, Companies, and international brands like BBSB that has its branches across different countries like South Africa, Libya, Nigeria, Australia, UK, and now in India also. She has also featured in the Edu EduSet sessions conducted by the government of Haryana. So she is full, uh, she's fully conversant with the this ICT mode conversation and she was also a guest speaker with us in our last program, which was highly appreciated by the audience. Uh, having trained professionals and students from diverse backgrounds and hierarchies, she feels that there is an evident gap of functional English across all domains and has been actually uh, working towards plugging those gaps. Currently, she is employed in, a, in the capacity of Assistant General Manager, Education and Training with Skills Anytime. The organization from where she comes is Skills Anytime. BKSB, which is the largest online English development company, which comes under the ages of West Nottingham, Hampshire uh, College in UK. The organization from which she comes has an affiliation uh, from uh, UK. And I understand that uh, 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 this institute is offering online courses. I, before you know, she gives her uh, session, I will request her to kindly briefly introduce about your organization also. So that the people at various centers and people from my studio, uh, those who want to follow up, they want to really improve their communication in English especially, uh, they can approach her also, or her organization. And uh, why we are talking about English all the time? You know, we say that language is also one of the barriers. Language is a very important tool in communication, but it can also become a barrier. If you are not conversant with the language which you are speaking, then it can become a barrier. But why we are emphasizing upon English? Because most of the MNCs, your students, where they're going to work, the language which the, which the corporate sectors are using is English. So one of the things which the students, what, the, what your potential employers are looking for in your students is their proficiency in speaking and writing English arts. Uh, though I may be having a lot of affection and I have a lot of affection for my mother tongue, but for my functional purposes, when I am going to work in the profession, I require to have some bare minimum level of mastery over the English language also, because this is a language which corporate sector is using now. So over to Madam Ritesh Vashish for the session. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, my name is Ritesh Vashish, as sir has already highlighted in my introduction, from Skills Anytime. So what is Skills Anytime? We are owned by the West Nottinghamshire UK, and our main area of expertise is helping people enhance their English to a very futuristic domain. domain. So it's something that at your, your ease, you can be enhancing your language skills with the help of this very unique system of uh, you know, language enhancement. So we have our tie-ups there uh, in Australia with the uh, tape Brisbane. Where in, in the entire curriculum is uh, developed in house at BKSP. Uh, besides that, we are there in Libya, in Nigeria, and here in India, uh, you know, we've, uh, you know, we really we, we realize that there is a huge gap with respect to functional English, and that's how you know we've started uh, helping and we start associating uh, ourselves with a couple of organizations which are using our uh, our online domain to enhance the functional English of their employees, of their, uh, you know, associates, of uh, teachers, of students, so on and so forth. 
Now, uh, what is our status back in the UK? We've been there for the last two decades, and we're the market leaders there. And a very interesting episode is that the lady who heads West Nottinghamshire and our organization is a lady from India, and she has been bestowed with the female equivalent of knighthood by none other than Prince Charles for her contribution to this education domain. And her name is Lady Dame Asha Tenka. We're very proud of her. And she is the one who has made major strides in the domain of making this online system of language enhancement extremely popular. So that's so any one of you who's in, who feels that you know rest everything, you know, I have the technical skills, I'm really competent otherwise, but there is one small hitch, and that's English. So we are there for you. And this is a solution, this online domain is a solution which is tried, trusted, and proven, and we are the market leaders around. So uh, in case you have any doubts, in case you feel that this is something that is there between you and success, we are there for you. So that's about, uh, you know, skills anytime. Now we come to functional English, and I totally agree with Sir when he says that, uh, you know, we tend to be a little hesitant when, when it comes to English, and rightfully so, because this is not our mother tongue. I absolutely understand. But then, why do you think <coughs> English is important? English is the language of the corporates. It's there required, uh, you know, in all domains for your further education or for their, you know, for good jobs. In fact, if you see the matrimonial columns, you would say wanted an English-speaking girl or a boy. <laughs> so even for your matrimonial uh, qualifications, this has now become a requirement. And it's a global language. So English is a requirement everywhere. Now what happens is sometimes oh, okay. now what happens is sometimes when we are uh, speaking in this language, we start off with uh, saying something, we want to express something, something very interesting, but we end up making ourselves a subject of ridicule by conveying something very different from what we set out with. Now that becomes a problem. And though you know you feel that people are looking at you with different eyes, they're laughing at you, you feel they're sniggering, because you have ended up conveying something very different from what you set out. Like this friend of ours in this video that I'll be just showing you. Here I'm middle left me, third room me, third, third, third column me, middle me. Yeah. Here I'm. Uh, it's gonna right click again and play in media. In hmm. media, just play for it. So just see this interview very clear, uh, carefully, and I'd like to take your opinion on this after we see this. Um, so why do you think you're suited for the position of site inspector? Uh, Madam Ji, uh, I'm, uh, I'm old construction. Construction come nature to me. Nago. Uh, so tell me about yourself. Good morning, uh, Madam Ji. I am Vijender Dullar from Panchkula, Haryana. Uh, we are land family, Jimidar, and uh, all land gone now. Mother gone, father gone. I am looking for job. I, I am complete B from Igno. Civil engineering, or Madam Ji, my hobby, uh, watching only movies and uh, workouting in gym. 
Um, so why do you think you are suited for the position of site inspector? Uh, Madam Ji, uh, I am uh, I am old <laughs> nature to me. Uh, selling, buying, and I can do very well. And Madam Ji, I have deep knowledge, deep. And if you keep Vijender with you, you are finished, Madam. Ji. So, what do you think are your strengths? Uh, uh, Madam Ji, there is one saying in Haryana. देशा में देश हरियाणा जित दूध दही का खाना मैडम जी तो मैडम जी मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम आई लिफ्ट अप ऑल द वेट इन जिम मैडम जी आई मीन टू आस्क अबाउट योर प्रोफेशनल क्वालिटीज मैडम जी आई एम प्रोफेशनल बट कंस्ट्रक्शन इज फॉर मैन एज यू कैन सी नो वन कैन मेस विद मी एंड टेक मी राइट अवे एंड आई डोंट लेट देम गेट अवे Women cannot do that. To understand here is that English is the language for the corporates, for your jobs, for your further education. And if we are not able to convey what we are thinking here, the result can be this. It can be disastrous. So this is what we we'll try to address in this session. Some commonly committed errors, and now the question arises. can we make an improvement can we speak correct english and how do we go about it the only solution is keep yourself updated and keep practicing so now though this session is not exhaustive and it's not covering all the aspects of pronunciation of introductions of you know grammar but we will uh, touch upon some basic bits about all these aspects which become a very integral part of our communication So now, first thing is, uh, we have some excerpts of conversations uh, between students in a college campus. Now, whilst they were conversing and introducing themselves with each other, uh, they made some errors, or they committed some errors. Now, what we'll be discussing is that you have to highlight or identify the errors they have committed during this course of conversation. Now you have to spot the error. Student A, what is your good name? Tell me something about yourself. What is your name? Absolutely right. It's what is your name? You don't have a good name because when you say that you have a good name, that means you have a bad name as well. For example, my good name is Ram, but hey, I have my bad name reserved for the bad people. That's Ravan. <laughs> so that actually means that. uh you know you're actually implying or what's implicit in this statement is that you have a good name and you have a bad name also and i'm sure none of us have a bad name so it is what is your name tell me something about yourself okay now overheard again from uh, the student who was talking to the student a the student b and he says myself b i'm from chandigarh only I have one real brother and two cousin sisters studying in the college. So what do you think? Is everything in order? No. So what is not in order? Cousin sisters. Myself, me, ma'am. Can we say myself, me? Okay. Now this is what most of us end up saying. without realizing that this is absolutely incorrect now if you want to go for an interview and you say you know if i had i come here and i had i introduced myself as myself ritesh vashesh what well, i would have got the job second you would say oh she is going to be taking this session in function in english i guess she needs a little bit of updation on that so that is how grave this error of myself ritesh vashesh is. it my name is ritesh vashesh or i am ritesh vashesh so that is how i but incidentally and since you know or i would say that unintentionally since people are not aware of this most people they address themselves whilst introducing themselves they say myself 
So from today onwards, make sure that we will not commit this error thereafter. I am from Chandigarh only. Mm, there's never been any <laughs> <laughs> My friend, you're absolutely right. So you, you're not trying to say that, I, hey, I'm from, you know, yeah. I've traveled across the globe, and, uh -huh. you know, <laughs> 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 these sounds are awkward. <laughs> yes, so you just say, I am from Chandigarh. I have one real brother and two cousin sisters studying in this college. And that means uh, he's trying to say, hey, I'm not alone over here. Okay. So many people we never use uh, cousin, cousin sister. We all use right. cousin. Absolutely. A very important thing. Come on. Real brother? Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, so it's my real brother is Amit uh, Sharma and my boss brother is Gulshan Bro. <laughs> <laughs> So, again, just like your good name, when you say real, that means there is someone false also waiting for you in the closet. <laughs> and there is no false brother, there is no real brother. You have a brother. Right? So, you must explain, he uses this very funny word. He uses the, the bastard's name. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry to say, but then this is what the uh, yes, yes. is. Absolutely. He's right. So he's right, absolutely. So, now let's just, myself B? No, it's my name is B, or I am B. I am from Chandigarh. I have one, one real brother. What's wrong with that? I you have to check me. Yes, I have one brother and two cousins studying in this college. This is your class. Is this your class? Awesome! <laughs> okay. No, my classroom is on the back side of the library. On the back side? You know, this 90% and, uh, you know, it's not, uh, it's not, it has nothing to do with your qualifications, but incidentally, most of us say backside, which is just, which means the posterior of the whole human body. <laughs> so this is how grave a mistake we make when we say, you know, you have to go to that shop, it's on the backside. And that is what you mean. So behind is the correct expression. So when you say, next time you say backside, you're actually being very blasphemous. <laughs> <laughs> so then there's someone, a Puritan uh, of you know, the English language, he would just look at you in awestruck horror. Though it's not a mistake again. All what we needed was to be updated and apprised of what the correct expression was supposed to be. Rajan is your friend. Is it Rajan? Is it Rajan? Awesome. I and Rajan are very good friends. Rajan and I. Absolutely correct. So it's, is Rajan your friend? Rajan and I are very good friends, or good friends. How long have you been studying in this college? It's not important that every, <laughs> you know, there is the uh, subtext. Yes. <laughs> there are some Context which have been which have been deliberately put to confuse you. Mm. So my dear friends, this is right. Mm. How long have you been studying in the college? I have been studying in this college since two years. <laughs> it is for two years. Who is your class teacher? <laughs> you can very confidently say, hey, that's right. <laughs> so that's right. <clears throat> Mr. Dheeraj is my class teacher. The? Okay. One attempt. Our class. Okay. That's, you know, we use this expression for respect. 
हमारे हम तुम नहीं कहते बट इफ यू जस्ट टेक इट प्योरली इन द कॉन्टेक्स ऑफ द इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज देर ओके विल बी यूज मिस्टर आई डोट यूज द फर्स्ट और विल बी यूज मिस्टर वी से द फुल नेम मिस्टर धीरज श्रीवास्तव और धीरज कुमार रितेश वशिष्ठ सो वन एंड सो फॉर और द लास्ट नेम मिस्टर वशिष्ठ मिस्टर श्रीवास्तव मिस्टर कुमार और we just use the first name so with mr whilst you're addressing or you are writing an email that's the commonly committed error like we say dear mr andrew that's not the correct expression it's dear mr andrew or dear andy right mm-hmm. so this is something which unknowingly or unintentionally most of us commit this mistake but then when we are checked we refrain from doing that so that's about introductions so next time we introduce ourselves make sure that you don't say myself <laughs> right now another very important aspect of english is the pronunciation <coughs> so in this game of pronunciation sometimes we end up making such big blunders that you know rectifying it at a later stage it's sometimes you know the cat has already slipped out of the bag <laughs> yeah, that becomes a habit absolutely that becomes our habit and this is something that we all need to be aware of and most of us and let me tell you the best of us we also need to be checked so once we are checked things are okay and remember never be afraid of making mistakes when we make mistakes it's only then we realize what the correct thing is so if we keep quiet and keep things to ourselves and feel that uh, you know we always diffident and hesitant that i don't want to be speaking in english what if i speak in correct english remember it's only when you speak in correct english my dear friends that the correct language can be spoken and i think i totally uh, respect sir's view point that you know fine english is the language of the world right now but then that's okay we are we our area of expertise could be our own different language mm-hmm. but learning this language is important so we can feel as much as we want to express ourselves in our mother tongue but we should be updated and we should know what the correct expression with respect to english is all about so here now we will be discussing some commonly mispronounced words first is pronunciation mm-hmm. so here i have let the cat out of the bag <laughs> yes then in it's a word in itself that's the reason i have it on my yes uh, the, the, the it's on there on the slide so here i did it's pronunciation next word when you uh, excuse me ma'am uh, when it's not the word pronunciation when it when it is just pronounced the word correctly then it's just, uh, yes. then that's pronounced that's, that's pronounced, pronounced. pronounced but when it correctly. comes to this word pronunciation no. word, then it's pronounced okay shy sir it's competition and competitive competitive yes now this is a blunder <laughs> which <laughs> what is the pronunciation of this word it's bull okay bull bull i think so can we connect it to the sentence yes aapke pass mein lagta hai list hai you can call like call one of them call me lagao please to please मैं महाराष्ट्र बीड से कुछ यस और राजस्थान एनी वन ऑफ देम महाराष्ट्र में एक एल्टरनेटिव मैम गोरन पॉलिटेक्निक महाराष्ट्र ओके गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स कैन यू हियर मी हेलो सो वी वांट टू एक्सरसाइज प्रोनंसिएशन आई वांट द What is the meaning of this one? Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. So, just what is what is the meaning of this word, which is which you see on the screen? Okay. Okay. Let's just see what the correct pronunciation of this word is. 
It is just not found. Found an expression which is only meant for the washroom. Right. It is just not an expression to be used on your dining table. So now this festive season is coming in and people say, okay, please give me a bowl of cashew nuts. <laughs> well, <laughs> so while your intentions are very honorable, you have ended up conveying something. That's it, right? So this can among actually saying something disastrous. So it is just not bow, it's bow. Now we get here with a huge ourselves while sleeping, and we break our fast with this expression. What? How do we pronounce it? JCDM Sirsa. Okay. Hello. Yes, sir. Sirsa? Can you hear me? Hello? Okay, Hello? Audible, Hello? 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 Can you hear me, please? And they can. Hello? Hello, JCDM Sirsa? Hello? Yes, ma'am. Am I audible? Yes, sir. You are audible. Am I? Yes, ma'am. Absolutely, ma'am. So, okay. we were just discussing what is the pronunciation of this word that you see on your screens. Hello. Madam, you have a screen on your screen, right? Tell me how to say it. It's breakfast. Okay. It's breakfast. Thank you so much. Well, uh, my dear friends, though we break our fast, and this word is actually you're breaking your fast, but the correct expression is breakfast. So the spellings, they are slightly misleading. And sometimes you really just want to hold, you know, the person responsible who created these spellings. Why can't it be breakfast, the right spellings, where you know where you're not getting misleaded? But that's how English is. And we have grown up, you know, using this language. And so that's how you understand what the correct pronunciation is all about. So it's not breakfast. It's Breakfast. Breakfast. <laughs> see, that is the spelling that you see. B R E K. F U S T. Breakfast. We continue to say the same words. Okay. That's engineer. Awesome. Thumbs up. So our friends there, in, this is Sirsa. Yes. Ma'am, uh, ma Jaipur. Jaipur? Yes, ma'am. OK, Jaipur. Let's just try our hands. Remember, there is no reason for you to feel embarrassed. If it's wrong, it's wrong. Big deal. So that's how we know how to speak the correct version of the word. So what do you think is the pronunciation of this word that you see on your screen? Engineer. Hello. That's quite near. Good. Hello. Hello. Yes, I've heard you. Thank you. So very right, my dear friends. Most of us, we end up saying engineer. Whereas the correct pronunciation of this word is engineer. <laughs> now this is the most misleading word. And sometimes, all my life, I think there was just very recently someone corrected me, hey, this is not meant to be spoken like this. 
But I said when I was not aware, and look at the spellings. That's what that was my uh, contention. Well, that's English language, and we grow with the language. So here we are, friends. What is the translation? Remember, I was wrong, so you can be wrong as well. So, you know, none of us would want, we have to take adequate precautions because this is the weather where we can get afflicted with this very serious form of illness. So what is it? Now I'm also very smart. <laughs> so I'm all, I'll give you all the cues, but not speak the word. <coughs> Let's ask from uh, Dr. Saxena group of colleges. Okay, Dr. Saxena group of colleges. Been thus, if we can make mistakes, remember. I was incorrected about last fortnight. So we all know. What is the pronunciation of this word? There is no word, ma'am. Can you see it now? No, no. Screen on, Karo. There is no word. Sir, आपके यहाँ पे video show रही है sir? Yes. Sir नीचे ना आप उसपे क्लिक कर दीजिए video को दोबारा फिर आ जाएगा. Sir नीचे ना छोटी window show रही होगी उसपे क्लिक कीजिए sir उसपे लिखा होगा कुछ. Sir नीचे small window show रही है. ये 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 उसके उसके बगल हाँ. अभी दिख रही है सर? No sir. सर नीचे ना छोटी विंडो शो रही होगी उसपे क्लिक कीजिए सर. हर जो सर बहुत सारी विंडो हैं कौन उसपे क्लिक करें? सर ETV वन नीटर चंडीगढ़ लिखा होगा जिस पर. It is one year, it is one year, it is a black one, black one, black one, black one. Dengi, 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 dengi. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So it is not dengue. Though again, my dear friends, I have corrected myself. I also corrected myself. Don't worry. So I also, until now, you know, the first expression of pronunciation which comes out by default is dengue only. But it's dengue. Actually, on the radio and television, also many times they say dengue. Yes. The doctor will come and he will say dengue. See, what happens is, see, with respect to English, you need to update yourself regularly because a lot of languages have, you know, integrated with this and. Interfere. Absolutely, absolutely. So this amalgamation is sometimes which causes a confusion. So that's what I'm saying. That we need to be corrected by someone. So that's why whatever you know, you need to speak better down. Make mistakes so that you can be corrected. That's how I corrected myself. Okay. So what? You dash the dead. <laughs> And then you say that you know you forget your differences. Let's. Berry. Berry. Okay. Yes. Though the spellings again is B U R Y. It should sound like burry, but let's bury this hatchet. 
or let's uh, you know forget your defense. Let's bury those defenses. Uh, I, I, perfect. I think that's absolutely correct. It's not iron. It's iron. Data. Wow. Data or data? Well, the correct pronunciation is data. When is it? <laughs> Wednesday. It's Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So though I think half our lives we've grown up saying Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Wednesday. Right. So now we are making our kids, you know, they are helping us to how to pronounce it. Yeah. Absolutely. Ma'am, oh, it's Wednesday. Ma'am, uh, as an iron, jo lohe wala hota hai, usse ah, iron to iron. Absolutely. You're right. So it's Wednesday. Wednesday. But this is a breathing disorder, a disease. What is the pronunciation? Is it asthma? Asthma. Yes. It's asthma. It's not asthma. It is asthma. Pronounced as asthma. Asthma. The teacher will speak like this, and if you ask him, the students will laugh for No, no, but they will practice it. But then, but then, they will learn that particular word. When you first time you will pronounce like this, they will laugh for you. Absolutely. Not only your students, most of your friends also will laugh. Like instead, it's not plumber. It's plumber. Plumber. So most of the time we end up saying plumber so that other people don't feel uncomfortable about it. But then that should not be the way it should be. Police, should. police, yes. police. False in Punjab. Police. You would hear a lot of your false. <laughs> I mean, we have seen the live example when sir said, you are screen pe dikha hai. and the kind of language what he was using. So that was more understandable to them. I will see that. Sometimes, yeah. sometimes uh, we deliberately you know, use the same. The same communication the absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. For you, so that you know, uh, we can uh, communicate Serve better. The purpose of absolutely, absolutely. I agree with you. Absolutely. Excuse me, ma'am. Will you hear that difference? Iron and iron. The metal. Yeah. It's iron. Yeah. You iron out your differences, when or you iron your clothes. Yes. But then, with respect to the metal, that's iron. It's iron. Yes, it's iron. But there is a rule regarding pronunciation of R. If it is followed by a vowel sound, then it will be pronounced. If it is not followed by a vowel sound, then it won't be pronounced. You know what? I think consonants and the spelling goes E before I. And sometimes they are overruled. So we get to know about these It is followed by a vowel sound, R, O, in spite of that we are not pronouncing Absolutely. So there are a lot of digressions, a lot of deviations, a lot of aberrations with respect to the rules. So sometimes you have to overrule that. And you need to understand that functional English is all about understanding what the latest, uh, not about the latest, what the, how it is meant to be spoken. So you really can't, rules are not sacrosanct. But sometimes like you stick to the rules. Absolutely. So, because, the and they are not the, wrong. In the absence of the exact pronunciation, it is a good idea. Do Largely, we can go by the rules, absolutely. but you can always give discounts here and there. So if we, <laughs> absolutely, I think. Now, if we were to learn French, we would stick to the rule book. Right. Or if we were to learn Latin, or Mexican, or any other language, we would stick to the rule book and say, excuse me, it was meant to be said like yeah, this. Exactly. How come you have uh, deviated from this? Yeah, you taught so this thing to you us. You taught this thing to me. <laughs> but then, I think, you evolve with the language, and you want <coughs> Even with Hindi. <coughs> so you say is it the E ki sound small choti e bari but then you I think you gradually now, now in Hindi we have two persons per modes here. In my home they call per mode, in her home they call per mode. Yes. <laughs> so and now with uh, I think ra, ra, so where do you use that? The dialectical differences are there. Absolutely. And I think language is not, it's its not an exact science. It's not mathematics. 2 plus 2 is meant to be 4. 
I think that way I think Sanskrit is a very scientific language though. But other than that, most of the languages, they evolve over a pass of time. They take their influences from other cultures, from other languages, and that's why it's fluid. So you evolve with the language. <laughs> there are a lot of Hindi words now. The word actually is yoga. But then it becomes yoga in English. It's Ram. It becomes Rama in English. Yes? So there somewhat, I, I think, uh, uh, the word mutilation, when it goes from one language to the that transition, it happens. So as you evolve with the language, you understand those differences. Oh, yes. Oh, you showed us. <laughs> <laughs> so that's two, uh, two. Absolutely. So it's not he's gone on a tour. It's tour. It's tour. tour. Yes, it's extemporary. You play this instrument. Uh, which center can we have access to? Ma'am, Ajmer. Ajmer. Hello. Hello, yes, ma'am. Hello. Hello, yes, ma'am. Hello, yes, ma'am. Hello. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, we can hear you, ma'am. What is the word? It's extempo. Now, there's another word that you see on your screen. It's extempo. It's extempo. It's extempore, it's not extempore, it's extempore. Yes, sir. Do you have a comment? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Presently, you have to screen the screen. Look at the screen now. Screen for violence. It's violent. Say it again. Violent. It's 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 violent. The generation Y is addicted to this. Pizza. 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 Absolutely pizza. right. Chaparazzi. Pizza. That's pizza. 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 Now this is what most mothers appear to be when they ask their children to do their homework or to clear their closet or to make their beds. Yes. <laughs> it's not demon. It's demon. I have deliberately not put any wrongs or rights here. So now, when you say the United States, oh, very right, OF is of the United States of America, and switch, which OF will we use here? O double F. Switch off the line. Switch off? Yes. I thought United States of America. Yes. OF. United States of, of America oh. and switch, switch off the lights. Yes. And there is another uh, um, uh, word where most people commit an error. That is resume. When you curriculum write, yes. When you submit that, that is no for your job. That's resume. But this word, you resume your duties after all. After a while, after you've taken a break. But when you give that uh, for your job, it becomes resume. 
whereas most people stick to resume, resume. even in that context. So with the pronunciation of this word, resume, it changes with the context. When you say resume your duties after the Diwali break, the spelling remains the same. But the context changes. The pronunciation mean. becomes different. Mommy, Oxford Advanced Learners Dictionary is resume, not resume. No, that's what I am saying. Because this word is originated from French word resume, but in English we pronounce Absolutely. it. I think it as resume. Okay, now this is what I am saying. Yeah. You resume your duties after the Diwali break, but when you submit this uh, for your your detailed Good qualification, time. your credentials. That is known as resuming. So the word is resumed, but the pronunciation, the spellings, they remain the same. But in that context, in the professional context, when you are submitting, this word resume becomes resuming. Most of the professionals, they speak it as resume. Most of the professionals also say myself. <laughs> so that's, I, I don't think. There is any reason for us to be jeering at any one of them because mm -hmm. I am saying yeah. that most of us, the best of us, make mistakes because this is a language. And language, yes. there are no fixed rules, especially with English. So you evolve with the language. How do you evolve? By making mistakes. How much updated we are. How updated you are. So there is no reason to feel embarrassed. Yes, we made a mistake. And now, henceforth, we will not commit this mistake again since we have now been correct. That's it. So that's about it. Now, some friends of mine had come from England and they said that you know we really want to be having chilled beer. I said, fine, there's uh, you don't have to go far, it's just around the corner. And they came back empty handed. And what do you think was the problem? It's written there. So spellings again, my dear friends, it can create a lot of confusion, like in this case, they were they wanted to have children, but they what they saw was this, and they came back every hundred expecting that they would see some little small bears around the city. Therefore, children. Yes. So for children, the person has written child, and for bear, it's the bear that you see in the zoos nowadays, no longer in the wilderness. <laughs> The so irony, that's one of the irony is when people do understand the thing in the correct manner. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> you know what this word is trying right to communicate. They have put it in Hindi as well. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so for a person who doesn't know Hindi and knows only English, they would just be expecting, okay, now this shop probably has some little, uh, you know, the, these people instead of, you know, these bears. In the zoo, they have in their shops. So there's some some different, probably some cultural difference that <coughs> you see here. Hindi <coughs> spelling Hindi spelling He's absolutely right. <laughs> and now, the person, I think most of us are here from the education domain. So there was this high-level board meeting going on, but the person who printed that placard wrote oh. this. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> So, this is exactly what we started out with, that if we are not aware of these small things of a language, we could end up creating a complete disaster. So now what do you think the head of that institute or that director would do, seeing this thing being displayed where a serious high level delegation has come to discuss something really serious? Board of Education, <laughs> that's why they are having a meeting. Actually, they Yes. So what would be the correct spelling? But MMU Milana. But MMU Milana. MMU Milana. MMU Milana. MMU Milana. MMU Milana. MMU 
मैडम एट मौलाना इंस्टीट्यूट और वापस आ जाइए मैडम आपके मन की आवाज आ रही है अब माइक के पास आइए मौलाना इंस्टीट्यूट मौलाना इंस्टीट्यूट यस मार्केटेश्वर यूनिवर्सिटी मौलाना आपको हमारी आवाज आ रही है माइक डॉक्टर विपन सैनी तो हम आपको काफी आ रही है ना सर आ रही है बोर्ड ऑफ एजुकेशन लिखा हुआ है ना आपका सर एक्चुअली वॉइस क्लियर नहीं आ रही सर अच्छा आप बता ये कि स्पेलिंग क्या होनी चाहिए जो आपकी स्क्रीन टू पे लिखा हुआ है ना बोर्ड ऑफ एजुकेशन कैन यू कैन यू सी द पावर पॉइंट यस यस सर आ स्पेलिंग बताइए इसके क्या होने चाहिए मारे ना inadvertently we end up making such big blunders though our intentions are very honorable and that is why we need to correct ourselves and we need to correct ourselves now we have a list of words which i would request that you can spell it out i mean you can write the spellings and you don't have to tell me whether they were correct or not because most of us including me we end up you know when you try to write these words for a minute how is it meant to be spelt so you will do it on your sheets of paper and in case they are right you can just say that fine all of them are right i'm not going to be asking any one of you individually so uh, i don't want to be displaying this slide on the screen just but i just want to see it my slide ha uh, slide me but i need to see that screen what <laughs> <laughs> the class they will see <laughs> okay they can see it in the class so i think they are all adult learners that's fine So I don't want the slide to be shown. No. I just uh, speak it out. Focus, focus on the her. Focus on her only. Yes. Then they can also see. Okay. Focus. Okay. Okay. Then the display will be there. So are we all ready? Yes. Yes. And how about the centers? Are they all ready? Yes. Okay. The first word is. Mischievous. Mischievous. They are just speaking. And they are hearing. Adversary. स्लाइड नहीं देखनी है नहीं यू नॉट सपोज टू सी द स्लाइड यू सपोज टू ट्राई आउट दी स्पेलिंग ऑन योर ओन 
it's just like a dictation. For it's like a dictation. <laughs> yes. And this is not for anybody else. It's for your own self or our own selves. Because most of these, you know why I have put all these words in the slide, on the slide? Is because I make a lot of mistakes with these words. And these are the words where most of us tend to be a little confused. So uh, we've already seen the kind of blunders we commit uh, in case we're not updated on our spellings. So this is equally important just the way your introductions, your pronunciation, even your spellings are important. So calendar. Can we see one of these centers if they are writing or jotting down? So okay, the fourth word is schedule or schedule. It's UK, it's schedule. US, it's schedule. So with, I think with respect to pronunciation, we also have different versions. Committed. We can try. Let's try and look at the screen. <laughs> Occasionally. <coughs> Etiquettes. Maintenance. <coughs> I think this word always it's a very tricky word with the spellings are pretty tricky. Recommend. Recommend. And the last one. Questionnaire. Is it double M or just M? Double M. Double M. Double M. So I think we can uh, show the screen, this slide on the screen now. The centers. So the slide with the correct spellings is now being displayed. We can just uh, correct it on our own. And if we have made mistakes, which most of us do yes. or commit, we can now stand corrected and make sure that we do not repeat it in future. Though I think we still get stuck. Most of us get stuck. I was stuck on uh, etiquettes, you know. Absolutely. And, you know, there, that's what I'm saying. I was stuck on it. Yes. No, you won't check it out. But with respect to the this thing, this is D A R. Calendar. Yes. I think Sir had a very uh, interesting session on communication. <laughs> communication. Otherwise, I think all of us are now we have communication. It's very important that we use the right language, the right to know, to be able to communicate our message to the person who's there on the other side. The so role they, of, uh, role of uh, you know, this technology and WhatsApp and all, you know, they have just uh, uh, they have ruined our language. Huh? <laughs> Spoiled the language. Absolutely, I totally agree yeah, with you. It, I mean, at times we don't even understand. You know, people write all those short forms and all. Absolutely. Okay. So uh, they often say that whenever you're speaking on the phone, always smile because the other person can see you smiling. So why do you think they say that? Anyone on the center? Your voice reflects yeah. Absolutely. You can't say you. You know, you can't be smiling and then uh -huh. sound grumpy. <laughs> so if you're smiling, it has to be, hello, how are you? So try doing it yourself. Hello. Smile and say, hello, how are you? <laughs> it's not possible. <laughs> so now with respect to the expressions, these are the very commonly used when we are trying to make mm -hmm. contact. I want to talk to Shivangi. Shivangi. 
Or, may I please speak to Shivangi? What do you think would be the most appropriate way? May I please? May I please? <laughs> Absolutely. May I please? Because I want to talk. <laughs> it shows authority. It shows that you, there's something that you demand it. Kindness. Yes, you Absolutely. yes, so it's just the way, you know, you yes, sound sir. better and you're requesting. So, don't be direct. Could, would, may, these are the expressions that we can incorporate while wanting to talk to someone. Want? No. It's a strict no because that shows that you're yeah. demanding something. Now, if I were to say, that may I speak with uh, Singha sir? So what is the next question that you would ask? Mm -hmm. Yes, you the next, may I know who's in the line please? So you could eliminate this step unless someone recognizes you, your voice, then it's different. But otherwise, other than that, it's always good. Hello, I'm Rizesh Vashesh from Skills Anytime. May I speak with Singla sir or with Mr. P.K. Singla? Give your introduction first. Mm -hmm. They don't know who you are mm -hmm. unless I said that your, uh, you know, your what voice is, is so distinct that people recognize, okay, that's Ritesh mm -hmm. online or that's... Mm -hmm. Now whilst we are taking a call, who's this? And that's, it comes to us by default. Or, hello, where are you calling from? How can I help you? So these are all very polite mannerisms. May I but who is online? Absolutely. But then, since if you fear uh, the lack of it can make you sound pretty uncouth. Who's this? Especially in the, your professional context. It's very important that we use the right expressions. So inquire. Politely, hello, where are you calling from? How can I help you? Now, when we are asking someone to be on hold, or we are asking to hold, wait. That is something that should not be there. Absolutely. So that's what I'm saying. It makes us sound very uncultured if we do not use the right expression whilst we are interacting with someone over the telephone. Just a moment, please. And remember, it's just a small, uh, you know, change that we need to make with respect to our expressions that we are incorporating in our language when we're talking over the phone. So, just a moment, please. Would you hold on, please? Type me space. So, hold on or hang on. See, with your buddies, you can say. But other than that. We need to use the right language. Okay, <clears throat> giving negative information in case a person is not around. Call back later, or I'm afraid he's not in office. Would you call back later, please? So, what do you think? What do you think sounds more appropriate? Would you call back later, please? You're absolutely back on target. Back. So, I think. In all spheres of life, all of us wanted to be treated with respect, and it's always a pleasure interacting with people who are polite. Correct me if I'm wrong. We all like to be treated with respect, and we all like we like to interact with people who smile a lot, who are polite. Nobody likes grumpy people. So smiling over the phone makes sure that you speak in the right. Uh, you know, tone is communicated. Absolutely. You, absolutely. So you make a mental image of the person. I think you're right, absolutely. You, you make a mental image of that person who's over the phone. So if he's grumpy, so he, he would be imagining or she would be imagining someone who's like really ill-tempered. But a person who sounds pleasant over the phone is obviously you want to interact, you want to meet up with that person. Now it's not just your pronunciations, your uh, you know your spellings, but your apostrophes can also create <coughs> habit. There was a small episode where a husband and a wife had a squabble. So you know the wife leaves early and the husband is there around. 
So he goes over to the refrigerator and sees, you, this the second, you are dinner. So he's like really petrified. My God, what have I done now to deserve this? That when she comes back from office, I'm doomed. Whereas the wife was really very apologetic. And what she had done was that she'd made his choicest dishes and she kept it in the refrigerator, meaning that's dinner for you and not you are dinner. <laughs> so this is the kind of miscommunication, the level of miscommunication. So there was this uh, you know, husband really petrified to my God. I am in for some trouble in the evening now. I am construction. Yeah, I am construction. It's just like I'm that. I'm construction. Man. You are completely finished. <laughs> so, you, you know, so it's exactly. So, while one leaves you nourished, the other leaves you dead. The correct grammar saves lives. Now, there's still something, a very interesting anecdote. Uh, can you differentiate between complete and finished? No dictionary, I just read it out. No dictionary has ever been able to define the difference between complete and finished. However, in a linguistic conference held in London, England, there was this person, Samsundar Balgobin, a Gayani, mm -hmm. who was a clever winner. Mm -hmm. This final challenge was this. Some say there is no difference between complete and finished. Please explain the difference in a way that is easy to understand. His response was, when you marry the right woman, you are complete. If you marry the wrong woman, you are finished. <laughs> and when the right woman catches you with the wrong woman, you are completely finished. <laughs> <laughs> five-minute standing ovation. So that is where English is, that is what English is all about. With the answer by you men. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so thank you so much, my dear friends. And just the way, you know, uh, I went through the session, there were, uh, you, I made you go through these particular contexts, and then you said, you know, that you had your own versions or your own comprehension, whatever you've learned. You said what was right according to you. And then I identified, okay, now this is what is the correct version of this language should be. Likewise, the skills anytime modules are also designed in the similar fashion. They take you through a context. It is not didactic teaching. It is experiential teaching. So it takes you through a context, identifies what your gaps are, and then comes up with an individual learning plan, which is learner-centric, which is according to your requirement. And that is what helps you understand this language and understand what the gaps are and helps in plugging those gaps. There are about uh, six levels, seven levels in this system. And these levels, uh, in skills anytime, these levels are not ad hoc levels. They have been mapped with common European framework. Cambridge Main Suite and IELTS. So it's not, so it's an internationally certified system of uh, making, uh, those, those, that's the way those levels have been defined. So thank you so much for your time. In case you have any queries or questions, you can raise your hands and we can discuss it. Yeah, Ma'am, we just want to know how to learn this stress, the, the stress you're using while speaking. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Uh, I think, uh, that comes with, I think, probably our next session we could be it's discussing. Very, very exact. Thank you. That's uh, intonation, syllabi, stress. That's uh, a subject in itself. And uh, an area. Thank you. Peter means that. Ma'am, uh, we are having a complete session on articulation and pronunciation again on Wednesday morning. And that session is of four hours. We have theory as well as practical in that session. And that's why I was telling uh, all the centers and my friends in the studio also that kindly do not miss that session. Because that in that session, you will learn what you were asking. The stress is the correct pronunciation, the size of uh, articulating your pronunciation. We'll be talking about that on Wednesday morning. 
and uh, Madam Marchana Arsing, who is a trainer for the radio jockeys even, okay. I would say. She's going to the session. But nevertheless, uh, I like to share one thing on here, ma'am. Um, we learn the pronunciation how as we hear. For example, uh, Madam used the word dengue, dengue. I heard dengue right from childhood. That's how I picked up my pronunciation. If you want to really correct, be in the company of people like Madam Vashisht here. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I'm not you will be, you will be. I mean, uh, you know, in my own, in my own friend circle and my colleagues, some of my friend circle, we have made it a point that you will pinpoint to me, for example, to my daughter also even, to my young daughter, that uh, if I pronounce anything wrong, she will correct me. I will not take it as an offense that if she corrects me. Absolutely. And if she spells anything wrong in Hindi or Punjabi, I will correct her also. Why not? Mm -hmm. I mean, it is like that. And it is, as ma'am, we very clearly said that it is a evolving. Yeah. We keep learning, even in our mother tongue also, the Punjabi which I speak, the Punjabi my cousins in the village speak is entirely different. I speak so much of wrong Punjabi. Yes. <laughs> How to say of English Absolutely. also. Ma so it's not uh, just English, yeah. I think. And um, I think uh, we 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 should be having a very good class for a very very interactive session. And let me reiterate once again that uh, Skills Anytime is a, a organization from where she comes, and that organization is already doing a great job to the institutions as a totality also. I mean, you can get the details from her from her, uh, or she will contact you maybe through the emails. Uh, you can get the details. They conduct a test. This is a test. Situational test kind of thing, and then they will identify which level will be most appropriate to you. Maybe you require a level six, or maybe you require level four. Uh, your students can appear for that test, online test, and then they can identify, and then you can opt for that course. There are very reasonable fees there for the course. The purpose is not to earn money. The purpose is to, uh, you know, introduce the correct uses of English uh, in India. Especially when we are using this language in our official uh, language, in the official language. For example, now we are having three friends of Mizoram. Uh, I, I, I do love my Hindi and Punjabi a lot, a lot, but I couldn't have been able to talk to them even a single word then. Right. If I, I, I express my love to my language only. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, so, my dear friends, uh, I, on behalf of all the participants in the studio as well as in the centers, like to express my deepest sense of gratitude to Ma'am for sharing her very valuable time and sharing with us, uh, making us aware, just the awareness that this is these are the areas where we spellings, pronunciations, and other things. <laughs> Thank you.